This series of videos is going to cover the basics of programming with PHP. This tutorial series will be good for someone who is completely new to PHP or someone who needs a refresher on the basics. Before we get into any of the technical stuff, we need to talk about what PHP actually is and what it can be used for. So first, what is PHP? PHP is a server-side scripting language that can be used to dynamically generate HTML pages or other documents. A funny thing about PHP is that its name is a recursive acronym. PHP stands for PHP Hypertext Preprocessor. So the first P in PHP actually stands for PHP. Earlier, I said PHP is a server-side scripting language. What that means is PHP processes data on the server before the web page is delivered to your browser. Conversely, JavaScript processes data on the browser side after the web page has been delivered. So, what does PHP do anyways? Well, it can do a lot of things, but here we're going to focus on generating dynamic web content. For example, you may want to have a members-only area of your website, and once the user is logged in, You'll want their username or other stats concerning that user displayed on the header at the top of the screen. To do this, you'd use PHP along with a database, which we'll talk more about later. You can process complicated math problems on the fly or generate entire articles of content from text stored in a database. There are many PHP-based online games, and if you add in some JavaScript or HTML5, you can build some amazing applications. So before we dig deeper into what this language can do, let's look at the basics. First, PHP code can be placed within any HTML page between its own set of opening and closing tags. Any HTML file that contains PHP code must be renamed from HTML to PHP. This will tell the server it needs to run the code through the PHP interpreter before sending it to the web browser. Other than allowing you to use PHP, changing the file name to PHP will not alter the behavior of the HTML file in any way. Let's take a look at the opening and closing PHP tags. All PHP code must be inside these tags for it to be processed. Begin with a less than sign, followed by a question mark, followed by the letters PHP. After that, Put a space. This is where all your code will go. For now, let's just look at the closing tag. This is just a question mark followed by the greater than sign. That's all there is to using PHP. Enclose the code in these tags anywhere on an HTML file with the extension change to PHP. In the next video, I'll show you how to install WAMP and get PHP running on your computer. Thanks for watching.